was as I was in this time. It's like, for example, Ezekiel and the dry bones. When God took his soul out and then set him where the place had a lot of dry bones, like a vision. The same thing for me. I felt when I was sleeping. When I was sleeping, God took my soul out, and then he and then he set me to this place to to see what's happening, and then at the end, he will bring me back. In time to tell you all these things to you. Hi, welcome to our channel at We Are a Couple. If you're new here, please subscribe, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at We Are a Couple. This video is going to be with my good friend Samuel. Uh, he's our neighbor. Um, his parents are here behind them. I don't know if you can pan and show them. This is brother David. <laughs> and that's his mom, sister Carrie. They're a wonderful neighbor. Anyway, the reason for this video is because Samuel has got a message for us. And uh, he's been uh, having it in his heart for a couple of nights. He'll tell us everything about it. And uh, just like, you know, the... <laughs> Bible's character of Samuel hearing from the Lord that's how I heard it uh, when he was recounting the story to us earlier so Samuel why don't you tell everyone what uh, you were telling me earlier okay where do I start okay so I'm in my home uh, minding my own business and then I heard big loud knocks on the door my mother rushes to pack everything she has and and rushing around the house with, along with my dad. So then then we started to hide around the house so that they might not find us. Then when the door finally broke, we were still in our hiding spots. But we called upon God and then and then God heard us. So God sent some mes some powers to freeze those men so they so they, they couldn't they, they couldn't move uh, or see anything. Then so since that happened, my family just rushed through the door, passing them, not looking back, and then and then runs away. Then when we were finally out of their sight, they were they were unfreeze and then they were confused and they could and they couldn't and, and they don't remember anything. Then as long then we were running and then running and then we there was there was a bunch of shooters behind us. So they were trying to shoot us, but then all their bullets missed. Then I see, then I see God's hand in front of me, and then God says, "Come to me." So when I when I when I go to the hand along with my family, cause they cause they also hurt. Then when we went to the hand, we were lifted up in the sky, but we weren't taken to heaven yet. We still had we still had our jobs to do. So since God took took us up in the air, we were we were sent to some place where we meet other missionaries and other people lots of lots of other people then we then we went along uh, preaching but then the problem is when we were preaching halfway um somebody shouts from the back run for your lives and i and everyone and everyone all the missionaries including me and my family were running we, we were soon to discover a bunch of um shooters and another score of shooters trying to shoot us the thing is that I, I see many many people sacrificing their lives for the for the lives of others to continue their job for Christ then I then I find in this dream that God is showing me that that if I if we need help God we can just call upon God and then um, okay what else is there Okay, so I go. I, I I fast forward in time to to um a place where where robots are everywhere, and it's and it's not a not a chance. You don't see robots every step you take, and then you and then they they have these machines in the restaurants and food centers you want to buy from. So it's like a three D printer. But what I see is that when they when they 3D print the food, like for example, you want lasagna or hamburger, it's fine. They just they just 3D print it. But you know what they put inside? They put false nutrition and also and also insects bits. I saw 
but the people who eat it can't see it because it's already covered by the 3D printer. And then it, and then the food is like it tastes like it, smells like it, and looks like it, but it's not it. It's just it's it's just harmful chemicals they're putting in your body. And then I I, I fast forward in time a little bit, and then I see, and then I see this store. This store had this camera at the door and then when you go inside this camera takes some pictures of you and then they can find out your personal detail and every single every single secret you've been keeping in your life. And then when you go inside the store, they, they don't really sell that they don't really sell like fruits or like vegetable or meat anymore sometimes. But what they sell it's some kind of chemicals which are in special packages. So I'm like, what is this? I, I also don't know what's that, but this is what just God showed me. And then when they want to check out to buy those stuff, I see their right hands with a chip inside. I Only I could see it, but it was inside their hands. So when they want to buy it, they just, there was a, there was a square, and then they put their hand like this. And then it had titit, and then and then you would buy the stuff it will it will also say how much you have in your bank how much you have left in your bank and how much you spend for this day in this store and a lot of details and then i find that that there will be no more like phones like ipad um computer like gadgets there will just there will just be a chip in your hand and then and then what and then whenever you want you just you just summon you just summon the this a blue screen to, to pop out on your hand with nothing to support it and then you can just type or uh, do whatever you want the you, you want to do with the gadgets and then and then I fast forward in time again to to a time where they were burning Bibles and then I and then God just helped me to remember this verse those who try to keep their life will lose it and those who try to to lose those who lose their life will preserve it and then i saw this woman she will say she said no don't take my bible i i, I will not let you take my bible this is my precious bible so then they killed her but but before the but before the weapon hit her god took her spirit up i saw her spirit taken by the hand of god to heaven before she was struck by a bullet so she did not experience pain or death then i see a second vision where this man he was holding the bible he said here take it i this bible i i will i will give this bible to live but what happened next is that all of a sudden um his mind went blank and then and then he acted like a zombie and then he, he had no reaction, no feelings. He was just a, a plain zombie looking in mid-air. And then he walks around while, while, uh, while something in his brain tells him to do. And then, as you can see, I, AI is like controlling them. And it's, and it's, so, and it's so amazing that, that AI, one AI is controlling like the whole the whole universe and then i and then i fast forward in time again this time to find myself in mid-air looking down at all the people who are cursing to the sky to god crying out loud and 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 cursing more and saying bad stuff then i was taken up to heaven i see so many people in the sky with me but the thing is that when i look down it's like 10 times more I see in the sky with me going up to heaven. I was so, I was so shocked that I was so shocked to see so, ma so many people on the ground. All the people that I know that were my friends and, and I don't know them. And then, as I told you before, those friends that betrayed me, those are the ones that are still down there. Then, when I was taken up, I, I saw, I saw, I saw um, a throne. And then I saw God sitting on it with his with his um, bright face I couldn't see. So then I see angels which has four faces, a human, an eagle, and some other faces, two other faces that looks like a boar or something else. And then and then as a, a book will appear and then 
a, a name is written on it, and then God will call the name that is written on the book. The person who has the name will come forward to the throne. God will see, God, God will see like what you have done in the book. And those who repented of their sins, God has forgotten those sins. Those sins are erased and are no longer to be known. But those who did not repent, their sins are still there in the book. So, my message is for for you is that. If you have sinned, repent now before it's judgment day. Okay, let's continue the story. So, when I see that, um, God called my name. When I I repented for my sins already, and then and then God say, "Well done, good and faithful servant. And enter ye the joy the joy of thy masters." And then and then I was so happy to hear that. Many people also heard that, but those who were on the ground cursing after facing tribulations, they came up with heaven with me, with uh to the to the place where they were gonna be judged, and then and then most of them were like, were still were still cursing, and then and then God, uh, God judged them by sending them to hell. But before they fell to hell. This, they were they they finally started to cry out to God for help, but this was the time where it's too late, too late to ask for repentance, too late to call God for help. So now that this happened, they fell to hell. There was suffering, crying, moaning, every single every single pain the world has ever felt will be there, found there. And in heaven is a wonderful place. I did not see heaven yet, but all I know, I saw myself walking into the gates of heaven, which were, which the streets were paved with gold, and then the, and then there were beautiful gates made out of gold too, and and diamonds and gems everywhere. So, you have a choice now if you want to go to that horrible place, hell, or you want to go to heaven. So you have your choice now. Think wisely. I was a I was a teenager that time, and now I'm eleven years old. You can imagine how close the time is when I'm a teenager and I'm eleven years old. You see, you see the the few years distance of that happening. That that happens so fast. So this is this is happening so fast that you can't even imagine it. You you don't even know what's gonna happen next because it's gonna be so fast, so intense, and so quick. So this this is a very traumatizing experience, but still exciting and very and very like unexpected. Like you won't ex- you won't you you won't expect like. People coming here and there saying, "Hey, you! I know you. You, you are the, you are the one who, who, who preach about, about Christ." Many children crying for their parents because their parents are like without life, lifeless. They are like, they are like statues walking around, not knowing anything. They're not, they're not feeling anything, and like when their children are car- crying. They they don't even they don't even even respond. They can't even hear it. They they ignore everything, and the children will cry and cry and cry, but still no response. And then I see, then I see these children in the heart was very sad, very confused by what is happening. And I see that many um many people was was sell will, will give their children to 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 live again like for example some somebody wants to kill that person and that person has a child he is willing to give up that child just to live but doing but doing that when he when when he lives he's going to live with the mark of the beast and then he and then his child is going to perish and then I saw they they're gonna use children to wash to wash away the sins, but this is not right. God has already sent His Son Jesus to the world to to be to be on the cross. There is real robots like AIs, like they're walking around, and then and then when you call them, they can they can talk to you, to you like a real friend, and then like 
the people are like robots but when they when they see a robot they they will they will be like oh like this is like a friend and then and then um the robot they the robots are just like everywhere and like when you want to talk to them you can talk to them when you want and then they will talk to you like a real friend treating you like your bestie but all of these are just mind controlling robots so as as i was as i was in this time it's like for example Ezekiel and the dry bones when god took his soul out and then set him where the place had a lot of dry bones like a vision the same thing for me i felt when i was sleeping and I was sleeping, God took my soul out and then he and then he sent me to this place to to see what's happening and then at the end he will bring me back in time to tell you all these things to you. And repent for the kingdom of God is at hand.